Dr. Lakshmaya Manchikanti, the medical director of the Pain Management Centers of Paducah and Marion, explains what patients can expect during their first appointment with an interventional pain management physician. Like any other patient, if you have been referred to an interventional pain physician or you have made your own appointment, it is because you have had a problem for some time and you are unable to find help for it. On some occasions, patients with acute pain also come to us. This, is, this happens in cases of shingles or what is called reflex sympathetic dystrophy. In these cases, sooner you start the treatment, better off you are. That is the reason why we see them. As you have already realized, you have a complicated problem in chronic pain setting. Even though occasionally it may look very simple, our bodies are extremely complicated. One of the major causes of pain is the spine. In fact, the majority of pain comes from the spine. To assess and manage your problem properly, you will go through a fairly long and detailed assessment. You will provide a detailed history in reference to not only your pain, but also how it is affecting your function, your ability to do activities of daily living, your relationship with others, your other medical problems, how it is affecting you mentally and socially, all types of medicines used, treatment received, and how they worked for you. By this time, as you have realized, the questions are sometimes irritating, annoying, but you will be asked when your pain started, how it started, and also what kind of pain it is. Is it throbbing, sharp, shooting, burning? Is it superficial, deep? And so many ways to describe your pain. Sometimes you may have to use different descriptions to tell us about your pain. After this is done, a doctor or nurse will confirm all the questions and you may even be given more paperwork to complete. All new patients have a physical examination during this time, you may be asked to do various movements like bending forward, backward, etc., which sometimes causes pain. But don't be afraid. The doctor is trying to obtain more information by examining you, but not by hurting you. I want you to remember this. A doctor who cannot take a good history and a patient who cannot give one are in danger of giving and receiving bad treatment. How does an interventional pain management physician find out where the pain is coming from? It can be coming from the discs, nerve roots, facet joints, and also sacroiliac joint in the low back, which can be identified as causes of pain based on certain tests, including MRI and nerve conduction studies, we can also identify them as pain sources by injecting small doses of local anesthetic into the area of the nerve supply and evaluating the patient for appropriate relief based on accepted criteria. In essence, we inject a local anesthetic and ask you to perform previously painful movements. Of course, you have a lot of other structures. We can't even examine them with the in injections and nerve blocks. Here I'm just talking about the proven techniques. Overall, whatever the technique we use, proper diagnosis is an extremely important aspect. The diagnosis starts with taking your medical history and a physical examination followed by any test that might be required, such as an MRI, nerve conduction test, and various other tests. For some patients, diagnostic injections might be needed Normally, when we think of injections, we think of them for their therapeutic value. But injections can also help an interventional pain physician pinpoint the pain and make a diagnosis. Remember, these are not simple injections like you receive into your hip or shoulder, something like that. These injections are more sophisticated and complicated. An injection can either reproduce your pain on purpose or numb your pain. Each type of diagnostic injection has its own place in helping or isolating where your pain is coming from. From there, the best treatment for you can be decided, including administering therapeutic injections, again, based 
on what type of response and information we have gotten from the injections or the diagnostic blocks.